Okay, so for those of you, if you're on example one, right? 1A is very simple. I'm quite sure all of you will have not will be okay with 1A. 1A is like primary school. 7 kg costs $21. So in primary school, this is what you will be doing. Okay, so in primary school, this is what you will be doing and you realize that one kg is $3. Okay, and then 10 kgs will be something like uh, 10 times $3. So I'm very sure all of you can get the $30 here. So this, this short example, right, is showing you that the amount of apples, Okay, hey, listen up. Apples and money are considered direct proportion. So the apples that you buy and the money that you pay are in direct proportion. So what do we mean by direct proportion? You buy more apples, you pay more. So this person, right? buy 10 kg, got to pay $30. If let's say another, another person uh, decide to buy only 4 kg. So of course, if this person wants 4 kg, uh, this person only needs to pay $12. So if you buy more, you pay more. If you buy less, you also pay less. This is the idea of direct proportion. Okay, so Try to understand 1A. 1A is a very simple idea, like since primary school, all of you know. But right now, the idea of 1A is apples and the money are direct proportion. Directly related. You buy more, you pay more. Okay, you buy less, you pay less. So in, the, in this topic, right, it's a favorite topic for real world context. Because in the real world context, like for example, your water, your water bill, you can ask your parents. Uh, if you use more water, you pay more. Okay, so the next idea, right, is now you got an idea why it's called apples, or what are called direct proportion. We are going to translate the apples and the money in uh, algebra format. Kyla, you can go to set B. Set C is the asterisk set. So Kyla and Abigail, you work your way through the sets. You can skip all the examples. Okay, so for the rest of you, right? Direct proportion, Matthias. Direct proportion means you buy more, you pay more. Okay, so now we are going to replace the apples and the money with algebra. So we're gonna change apples and money. And see the one that you tried is actually not correct. So apples is Y, then the money, I know, apples is X, sorry. X is the amount of apples and Y is the money. So now that we know that the apples and money are direct, directly related, we are going to make it into a formula. So if you are having an issue with making it as a formula, you got to ask yourself, the money depends on the weight or the weight depends on the money? You got to ask yourself. So Ansi, you got to ask yourself, the weight depends on the money or the money depends on the weight. So if you think about it, right, the amount of money depends on how much apples that you are buying. Make sense? How much money you, you are paying depends on how much you're buying. So why depends on X. 
So the formula should be y equal to something x. And it should be a 3x. So it should be a 3x because right, this is the weight. So one kg is $3. So for every kg, you are paying $3. Okay, so this one, right, we will say that y and x are directly related. So when they are directly related, they can, we can come up with a formula. Okay, so we now we know that the apples and money are direct proportion we change the apples and money to algebra. And with the algebra, we come up with a formula. So this is called a formula for direct proportion. Okay, so I can change you a lot of algebra, so y'all have to listen up. Okay, so look at the idea here. So the apples and money. So the apples and money change to algebra. So the formula will always be a K in the middle. So I'm going to change the apples and money to different algebra. So the apples and money can be changed to like this. So you will put the K in between. So don't worry about the K first. Later on, the question will give you the information to find K. So this is like our K. So when two things are directly related, we will create a formula for them. Okay, so the algebra can vary. So I'm showing you a variety of algebra. So Ashton, Matthias, the K will always be in the middle. Matthias, K will be a number. So later on, we will find out what is the number. That means, right, the formula between the two things will have a K, then later on, we'll calculate. Okay, K will be calculated up. That's why there are some algebra involved. Okay, uh, Ashton also. Conway, this is already something you learned. So Conway, this is the basic part. But then, right, the basic part shouldn't have careless mistake first. So there are some very difficult question. So I think Kwang Wei last week I was explaining to you the more difficult question. So we'll come to that again. So right now for today, you also do the basic part, make sure you got no careless. So the apples and, and the money, right? They can change it to different algebra. Whatever is it, if they change it to different algebra, and they are direct proportion, you put a K in the middle. So eventually K is a number because Matthias was thinking, what is K? Okay, K is a number that we will find through algebra. So will be calculated out. So usually I go with the pattern, the first algebra and the second algebra. So this is the first algebra, this is the second algebra.
Okay, so the whole idea is right. Uh, you will need to know what are called direct proportion. When we switch to real world context, you need to be able to tell what are the things that are direct proportion. Okay, another sample that is direct proportion is like your height and weight. So if you grow taller, you also grow heavier. Okay, that is the, under the assumption that you don't grow like, you don't be overweight, correct? So if you grow, suddenly you grow taller by 10 centimeter, okay, maybe you increase your weight by a certain amount. Okay, I'm sure all of you are sec, you, you are sec two, there will be one year where you suddenly grow 10 centimeter. And then that year you also find that, A, hey, your weight also increase. So the weight and height can be increased in a direct proportion. That means I can make a formula from it. So in this simple one, right, it's only the apples and the money. So we change the apples and money to algebra. So the apples and money, right, I can make it into a formula. So I can change to any algebra and make it into a direct proportion formula. So all these are the direct proportion formula. Okay, so one minute, please make sure everything is copied properly first. 